Hi, this is Jeff O. You know, I had uh, promised that I would do a video at some point showing you how to uh, increase your lex left hand dexterity. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now, just a few things. We'll do a close up where you can see both my hands. And this is kind of a real informal uh, video. <laughs> It's not a professional video, but hopefully it shows you what we need to do. Now, in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to play the four-string seventh fret, noting it with the index finger. Then we'll do the four-string eighth fret, middle, the ninth fret with the ring, and the tenth fret with the little. So we just go one. Okay, and let's do a closer up of just my left hand only. There we go. So, okay. Once we get done with that, then we go to the third string. Then we go to the second string. And then the first string. And then we go backwards. Okay, let's do a long shot again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play thumb, index, thumb, index. So, I, so when I'm at the 7th fret, I go thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb. Okay, it's an alternating. So every other note will be played with either the thumb or the index. Okay, now we'll do a shot and we'll go ahead and actually do the exercise. And I just want to see both my hands. That's all I need to do is see both my hands. So here we go. So I'm just going to count it out. One, two, three, four. Now, once again, if you're just starting the banjo, you may just do that and stop. But the whole exercise, we start, and I'll do it again. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four. One, three, four. And we go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, now. We uh, get out the old metronome, and I happen to have one right here, which we'll do a close-up. This is an app that you can get on your iPhone. We'll do a close-up of the metronome. We'll do a close-up of the metronome here as soon as the uh, cameraman gets. There we go. That's called Pro Metronome. And basically what happens, there's a circle here. And when I press it, you hear, okay. Now what's cool about this app is if I want to change the speed, I can just turn this circle. You see how that happens? So we're going to start at 100. I'm not going to show you the metronome. We're going to do that exercise showing uh, both the right and the left hand. So we're going to come in a little closer. Uh, we're going to come in a little bit closer. There we go. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We go to the next fret. One, two, three. Okay. Now we can either do that or we can play this one time through and then speed it up. So I'm at a hundred. So let's go to one oh five. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so exercise one would be just to do what we just did and just keep 
increasing the metronome from like 110 to 115 to 120. The second thing you can do is you can go backwards, meaning if I'm starting at the seventh fret, I can move down to the sixth fret and do the same thing with the metronome. Let me demonstrate that. Three, four. So this video is really not a play along with me video, it's more a showing you how to use a metronome video. And then you can keep moving your exercise down one fret and you'll notice as you go towards the nut that the frets are farther apart and it's a little bit harder. So if I get down to the first fret, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically you can do that exercise anywhere on the fretboard as long as you want. So you can either do it continuously so you can move it up and down the fingerboard or you can stay in one place. Just keep speeding it up and that's basically it and if you do this exercise for five minutes at a time a couple times a day after about a week you're going to notice a tremendous uh, improvement in your accuracy and your strength and once again just use the metronome and uh, play it as much as you can and uh, we're going to actually ask the cameraman to go turn the computer off so we don't have this big uh, and here he comes. You're going to see his back there. There he goes. Ah, ah, he did a good job this time. You didn't see him. All righty. So that's it. Good luck.